I'm Jackie West. Welcome to Monday's edition of the PE Crime Blatter. Joining me is reporter Brian Rokos. We're here at Second Harvest Food Bank in Riverside, where sometime over the weekend, 19 tires were stolen from more than half of their semi trucks. Brian, can you talk a little bit about how much this, this sets them back? Yeah, they have eight uh, trucks that do pickup and deliveries, and six of them uh, lost tires. So uh, what Second Harvest Food Bank does, it delivers uh, food to uh, 400 nonprofits in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. Uh, they serve uh, the, about 400,000 people each month, get food from this distribution center. And what this could mean is that some people who were planning to uh, pick up food at their local pantries, they might be delayed by a day or two, and that might be the difference between running out of food and, and not running out of food these thefts. I mean, it's going to hurt a lot of hungry people. It was really sad when Brian and I showed up early this morning and we saw most of these semi-trucks with no tires and a tire company here doing their best to put on these tires so they can get back out onto the road. Second Harvest Food Bank can feed eight meals to hungry people for a dollar. So basically what has happened here is somebody has taken enough money out of, our, uh, out of our budget to feed 80,000 meals to the Inland Empire. And when you take tires, it might not seem personal. It might just seem like, what an easy grab for us. Basically, you've stolen from the food bank 80,000 meals to hungry children, families that are struggling, seniors, people who need it the most, maybe people you even know. Sherrod also said replacing these tires is going to cost them around $10,000. Brian, can you talk a little bit more about what police have said so far? Well, they've taken, uh, the police have taken a report. Uh, who knows where these tires are? Who knows if they're still in the, the country? Uh, uh, Tracy Lynn said that she hoped that they'd be completely back up on the road on Tuesday. Uh, they do have insurance. She's hoping that uh, the insurance will cover it. Uh, she did tell me that uh, she would pray for the people who stole these tires, but she also said she wouldn't forgive them. I pray for those people who took these tires because they have no idea what they've truly done. That does it for Monday's edition of the PE Crime Blotter. Don't forget you can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Jackie West. We'll see you tomorrow.